<laughs> hey, I'm on this is chit chat. <laughs> I was showing you guys my. Let me make the light change here. I was showing you guys my my meal. <laughs> I'm suffering, you guys. <laughs> You know, this is a chit chat because, of course, I already did the um, video journal diary this morning. So all the chit chats that come after that are just extra stuff that happened throughout the day that I'm just coming to tell you about. This is my food for today. I have like pork chops and bacon and egg. Okay, but I'm telling you what, the side effect. It's the side effect of not using a CBD, THC, whatever. I'm just not hungry. Like I'm, I, I just made it and I'm just not even wanna. Uh, you know, I got up this morning. I didn't even really feel to drink my coffee. Like my body is, I only have to do this for seven days. You guys, I think, I think it's, I still haven't even looked up how long it takes to start feeling better after stop smoking a weed or THC CBD. Maybe I can look it up. <laughs> well, I should be eating. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I can, I can, I can Google, right? We'll see what Google says. When do side effects from THC subside, right? <clears throat> Let's see what the Google says about that. Oh, you know what? Because it's metal in here, I have to do it by the door. Some stuff, yeah, like it doesn't, this, this uh, camper, this camper is made of metal, so, you know, it doesn't, the data doesn't come through in here. Oh, wait. Here we go. It's going to give me a, I should have had it ready. Okay, it's saying, how long does, Why do I still have effects of weed after three days? This is a Quora question. I wonder what somebody answered for that. It's not really telling you. Um, you know, I just saw the number two, three, four. That's usually meaning to me, if anybody is into like numerology and all that stuff, that you're moving in the proper <laughs> direction, right? That's a reminder that you're going the right way. If it was like three to one, it's like, oh, you're going backwards. You know, that's just my little goofiness right there. All right, let me see what's uh, gonna come up. I have to stand by, I have to stand by the door. <laughs> yeah, might as well, you know. Okay, hi, I just wanted to, to comment on here to calm down anyone who experiences I had some fairly strong weed, blah, 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 blah. No, that's not an answer. Oh, look, look up depersonalization and derealization from marijuana. Oh, no, that's different. I am new to smoking. It's been fun. No, <laughs> these are all people saying, like, how can they get high and how long? I, that's not the answer I'm looking for. I, I saw it somewhere. Symptoms start to go within a day or two after stopping marijuana use. Dude, it's already been like this, like the third day, I think. I don't know. Two or three days. I'm still also know that the side effects. Let me press it. Oh, you know what? And it's Cedar sinai Hospital. So this is probably a, a reliable source, right? Always make sure that you're from a looking up from a reliable source. Wikipedia is definitely not a reliable source. I'm just going to let you guys know that, okay? Wikipedia, anybody can put something in there, right? Okay. Symptoms during this time may... Okay, wait, why, why is... Uh, how come I didn't get the... Um, oh. A noticeable size... Okay. It's... Yeah, it's really not... Symptoms subside. This is National Institute of Health. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, symptoms subside within two to 12 weeks. Oh, you know what? I can do it. I can do it. 
I can do it. I've done it before. I've quit smoking even before. When I found out I was pregnant, I stopped instantly. And that was no problem because there was something growing in me. So I stopped, you know? Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I got to eat this. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys this. Oh, real quick. I don't know if it's going to be quick now. So I sent them the email to all these people that I spoke to, spoke to you guys about uh, in the previous video. The only thing is one email came back. Uh, you know that email demon when the email address is not good and it came back for the honorable michael missal who is the uh office of inspector general but you know what though i think i don't know i i, I think colleen pate you know what i might have uh put the wrong actually no this is different people you know, I have to look up uh, some more information about Michael Misal to find the Office of Inspector General to see if I can find his information. Because I'm thinking that Colleen Pate is the personal uh, um, personal assistant. And I think I may have put the wrong uh, .va.gov and it should have been austintexas.gov. I'm not sure. I'm going to do some research on that and figure it out. And... Um, so all the email went out. It just didn't get to the uh, office of the inspector general, right? So the White House got it. Um, the mayor got it. I think the, I think this Colin Pate might be the the mayor's. Uh, it might be the mayor's assistant, but I'm not sure. Anyways, all the names went through except for that one person. So I'm just gonna do some research today and find out um, how I can find that. And then I'll just copy and paste everything I wrote and send it as an individual te uh, message, you know, because that's really all I can do. Another cool thing that happened today was that, well, it wasn't too cool because I had another. This is the third day that the VA has caused me to have suicidal tendencies. So today somebody called me as I was coming back from walking the dogs and, um, her name was Dion. She wouldn't tell me anything else about her. And she's like, hi, you know, I'm just, I picked up, you know, hi, I'm returning the call. You know, you had some problems. You were contemplating suicide yesterday. I was returning your call. Dude, when she said that, I was floored. I was so pissed off. I ripped her a new asshole. <laughs> I also ripped it for the other person too, because you know what? How are you going to call a veteran a day later after they have been saying that they're not feeling good and they're having some weird thoughts, how are you going to call them a, a day later? Do you know they will be dead already? They will be dead already. I told you. I told you the VA is trying to kill off the veterans because they don't want to take care of them. Yeah, that's really... Why would you call a suicide patient the next day after they called in distress the day before? The VA just wants to kill off the veterans. They don't want to deal with them, you know? And I, and I heard a thing on the news, I think it was. Proposition 1 is supposed to help the veterans. Dude, vote on that because they don't have no help right now. Veterans don't have no help. They really don't. I'm still waiting for emergency care two weeks. Do you know how bad tooth and cavity pain is? And I don't take pills. I don't take pharmaceuticals. So I have to deal with the pain myself every single day. It's all, it's already been two weeks. I just got my consult yesterday, which was good. So I'm going to call them on Monday, but can you believe that you guys? It's so terrible. I will, I will, uh, admit though today after I spoke with that chick that I ripped her a new asshole, sorry about the language, but that's how it goes because I mean like, you know, I'm feeling weird because I'm going through, uh, withdrawals, right? All right. So anyways, the lady, I spoke to a lady on the phone. Oh, man, I forgot her name. Denise. Okay, so after Dion, I hung up on her because I was so pissed off. So I called back and a lady named Tracy answered the phone. Same exact thing. You know what I hate? I hate to hear when somebody says, oh, my husband is in the military. I have a military wife. Don't you ever ever act like you know what your husband or any other military person went through who has trauma because you know what you know nothing there you have it and that's me saying it in a mean harsh way 
because I hate to hear that. I hate to hear that. You will never know the trauma that military personnel has endured. You will never know. It doesn't matter if you're the wife or the husband. You will never know. Okay. Now that I got that out. So I ripped her a new asshole too. <clears throat> and um, then I called back again because I'm the one calling back now because I'm trying to complain about this shit. And so then I got another lady and her name was Denise. Totally different demeanor. Relaxed, calm, nice, professional, and easy to talk to. She is the one that calmed me down. Her name is Denise, and she was from the Suicide Hotline. This is a suicide hotline I'm talking about here. Yeah, yeah, suicide, the VA Suicide Hotline. <laughs> they are no help at all. Well, Denise was. And, you know, we just sat and talked casually, and I told her about the YouTube channels, and I told her what I was doing, and... Everything I'm doing, she said, is good. What I do. I know my triggers. Because when I told her I know my triggers, she's like, oh, you do? That's great. You know? Because that's the first thing of trauma. You have to figure out what are the triggers. I have two. One is my family and one is the VA. I need to steer clear from both. But when I need medical attention, what am I supposed to do? You know what I mean, you guys? So that's why I've been going through suicidal tendencies for the past uh, three days because I have to deal with the VA. Yeah, it's a terrible feeling. It's like a phobic or so. it's weird to go into the, the VA building. I, I feel my stomach tightens up. My my arms, they get tight. I feel anxiety, but I'm just like, fuck it. I got to go inside. I got to do this and I do it. You know, I have to, you know, so I got to eat this bagel. You want to know what's inside? <laughs> so it's a H-E-B bagel. They make nice bagels. I like H-E-B. Ooh, the thunder. And it's jalapeno cheese. <laughs> And I put one slice of American cheese and a hard-boiled egg and some mayonnaise. And I just, that's going to be my dinner. It's already like 4.30 right now. I haven't eaten all day. You know what I think I need to do better, though, if I'm not I need to drink more water because I only had a cup of coffee today. That might be why I have a headache. So I'm just going to set that to the side because I'm going to go outside. I'm going to make me maybe a, a drink here because I also have juices. I have pineapple. I have orange. Sometimes I like to mix those together and have that. But I think I need to drink water. It's more important. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. And that's what I just want to talk about real quick what happened. Oh, and also for anybody out there who knows, I didn't know this. They had uh, this Denise lady. She told me they have a VA hotline that anybody can call and complain about the bad service they got. This is the first time I'm ever hearing of this. Yeah. Oh, you know what this is? All right, you guys, I broke. I broke, you guys. I broke. I went and I, go, I bought uh, Chica a uh, shock collar. I'm giving her a month. I'm going to give her a month. I'm still going to look for a good home for her, but I'm going to give her a month. The shock collar works. Yeah, I put it on uh, like five and it didn't seem like to do anything. And I put it on 10 and she was still laying there. And I put it on 15 and she's like, oh. <laughs> she jumped up and came in here. So I was like, ooh, I think 15 is too much. So I put it back down to 10. I think she feels it. And then, because the one I got is for, is for training. It's not for barking. Yeah. So I got her. I'm going to give it a try, you guys. I, I mean, she's a good dog and she does really love me. And that's why I feel bad because when we went out walking, because look, this last night, what I did, she stayed the whole night outside, chained up with a, a lead that only leads from the barbecue to the floor. And she that's where she slept all night. And I gave her a bowl of water. No food, no nothing. She was miserable. I could hear her crying. So she knows what happened. She knows what happened. So today, she was on guard. Every little thing I told her, get over it. She came over. Sit down. She sit down. Stay over here. She stay over here. Everything I said, she listened. And so when I went to the store and when I bought her this, because I needed ice, and I bought it, and I thought, you know, let me give it a try. If it doesn't work, I got it from Walmart. If it doesn't work, I'll return it. If she has no effect, it works. It does. And it goes up to 99. Dude, 15 was too much for her. So <laughs> I got to be careful, you know. So I'm going to give it a, give it a try. Um, I put it on her, and we went for a walk. I didn't have to press it. There was like no cows or no animals out for her to chase. So 
it didn't I didn't have to try it so I'm waiting I'm waiting to see when she gets out of control and I have her on a more stronger she broke the metal I have her on a more stronger lead now with a big metal thing holding her and, and this is you know what the thing looks like and you just press it and it gives a shock so I'm gonna give it one try if it works I want to keep her if it doesn't I have to let her go but she knows she got in trouble she knows she's in trouble she knows she what she did was wrong she knows she got punished big time so that's a thing like she knows but then she falls out of it it's because i have, probably have to keep up with it she's just gonna work you can't keep the they say don't keep it on more than 12 uh 12 hours so i just put it on her a couple hours ago and um I'm going to keep it on until the evening because when she hears dog walk by, she wants to jump out. And, and if she does, <laughs> I'm going to press the button. So, But that's all I have, you guys. That's the whole rundown of what's going on. It's already late. Um, I actually did two readings uh, earlier. when It was raining during one of them, but I did two readings. And so they just have to sit on my phone, though, because, you know, the uploads is very slow and... Um, but I did find, you know, if I go into Walmart, I can use their, their Wi-Fi and it loads up quicker and I can do that while I shop. So, um, I do have some videos uploaded that I'm slowly going to put out because, you know, I, I kind of, I try to spread them out if I can. Um, uh, the most they go that I do it and I don't put it out will be like three or four days. Like maybe because I can't upload it or it's not working or I have to go to, you know, I hold on to them. And then I just put it out when, when I can, you know, uh, I think I put one out a little bit ago and put one out uh, a little bit later tonight. So, but they're like short, they're short because I, you know, yeah. Anyways, you guys, I gotta, uh, I'm going to get going. We're almost 20 minutes. I just wanted to make a quickie and it wasn't quickie. So, uh, this was uh, chit chat. Hi Mona. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.